What is up everyone? I am out here up on my tower again. Everybody's been clamoring for results. They're like, when are you gonna get the results off the two antennas? So I'm up here again and I'm making some changes. So the number one thing that um, that a lot of people commented on was that uh, that there would be, uh, that it would fry my miner. And uh, while that may be true in the long run, it's not doing that. It is actually mining. So the big question is, okay, so what's more profitable? Why, like when would you use this or um, uh, you know, what might work? So the key thing though is, um, and, and what I'm using for this, this setup, and I'm not gonna show the inside, but you would have uh, an RF splitter off of there and then you have the two, two uh, antennas going up there. Now these are the, the custom mounts or whatever, not custom, but they're, they're mounts that you can get from uh, Rack or Parley Labs um, and they just screw onto the enclosure. So what I've done though is I switched the 3 dBi to a 5.8 dBi. So the, the recommendations that I got even from Rack Support was that Excuse me, adjusting my direct grip here. Got to stay on and stay safe while I'm recording this. Anyways, uh, so I switched the, the the 3 dBi out on the two antenna setup for a 5.8 dBi. And the reason was that, that a couple people uh, commented that basically the splitter adds 3 dBi of loss uh, on, on each antenna. So that means effectively with a 3 dBi antenna, it wasn't picking up anything. Um, now, what I saw though was interesting. Um, locally, I saw m more results uh, closer to me. So uh, we had the comparative for a 5.8 dBi uh, that, that was not picking up those close ones. So something interesting was happening, but I didn't know if it was having the output of the 8 dBi on the two an uh, antenna setup. So acting like a 4 dBi. So that might have been it. So what I did here is we're going to have a little more nuance. We're going to have a 5.8 dBi and an 8 dBi. And then for comparative analysis, we're going to have the 8 dBi on the Bobcat enclosure. So I switched these out and we're going to let that go another week. So comparative analysis though, um, this uh, when I had the 5.8 dBi on um, this uh, Bobcat, it was getting uh, like I want to say de definitely over one a day. Uh, it would range in like 1.5 ish, which is crazy. Like you wouldn't think that they would be able to get that kind of earnings off of this. Um, but this one was really interesting at the start. Uh, when it first turned on, it was getting about a, like 107 witnesses. So it was getting a lot, it was going really, really far, but then they just dropped off. And so I assume that that's part of the initial onboarding and figuring out you know what what the strength of the antenna is and all that kind of stuff but so so far this uh, Bobcat is is winning and it's not a, again it's not about the minor that Bobcat is is necessarily better uh, I am thinking about some ways to uh, really get at that question of what is the best minor um, and and get some get some you know thoughts there and, and then like what if I was to make the perfect minor not that I'm interested in in like um, doing my own minor or anything like that, but uh, what would make the perfect minor. So um, so I changed this out to the 8 dBi and we're gonna let that go. Now, one big thing that's a, that is an announcement uh, from Helium is that they're activating POC V11. So what that's gonna do is alter earnings all over the place. You're gonna see some really uh, uh, like volatile changes as far as like what you're earning now versus what you'll be earning afterwards. It could go up, it could go down. We just don't know yet. Um, there's uh, some people in the community that have started to extrapolate that and even Hotspotty has had some of their own uh, interesting um, uh, implementations in their software. So I'm getting tired of hanging on to this crazy antenna and I'm, I'm up here like you want to see down like this may make you sick so I'll give you a chance to like pause here and or turn away and just listen but this is that's how far it is to the ground oh yeah yeah there, there's another thing I put my TV antenna up here so we'll see what happens with uh, 
getting that into the mix. I got an HD home run in an enclosure out here, so I'm hoping that this will just be awesome and basically negate my need for having anything on my rooftop, which is always great. So until later, oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that craziness. Um, drop your questions in, in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can get to them. And until then, carpet and pestis, everyone.